and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. I am your host, Michael, and I am joined by my co-host and YouTube wife, Jamar underscore games. How are you this week, Jamar? I'm doing great. Really great. Yeah. I keep trying to bring the fake energy. I don't know. I say you're real bad. at it. it shows every time that it is not <laughs> sincere when you say great, and I just have to pretend that it is. <laughs> That's where the wife and husband and wife thing comes from. Yeah. You say fine, and I'm like, okay, we'll talk about it after the show, I guess. <laughs> no, nah, in all honesty, I'm doing good. Just a little tired. How about yourself? I'm pretty good. I've had a pretty solid week. I had, I had a, a terrifying scare that we'll talk about during weekly oh, purchases, yeah. but uh, we'll we'll touch on that more later. For anyone who's new to the show, the way this is going to work is we're going to go through the weekly toy news for the next about hour or so of your life give you our weekly purchases well i guess talk about our weekly purchases because you can't have them they are ours uh and then send you on your way so we're gonna start off this week like we do every week and that is with mcfarlane first we got a slightly less blurry look at the dc multiverse unmasked red hood which now seems that since we can actually kind of see it to have a flaming sword followed by new looks at the DC Multiverse Dark Knight's Death Metal Build-A-Figure Wave, which includes Death Metal Batman with guitar, not the scythe, Death Metal Superman, Death Metal Wonder Woman, and Death Metal Robin King. And if you collect all four, you can build the Dark Father. But that's still not all. <laughs> we got updates and inbox looks at the rugger release Red Mandarin Spawn. And closing all of this out for McFarlane, we got full images and even some placeholders on Amazon for the DC Multiverse Snyder Cut Justice League figures. We have Batman, Flash, Cyborg, Black Suit Superman, 10-inch Steppenwolf, and even two versions of 10-inch Darkseid, so you can choose if he's playing shirts or skins. There are also low-res images of unmasked Batman in blue and red suit Superman, and there's also mentions of a helmeted cyborg, but there's no pictures of that yet. Uh, no pre-orders, uh, pre-order info for Red Hood, uh, Mandarin Spawn, or the Death Metal Build-A-Figure waves, um, in the States at least. But Spawn is listed on Target.com to arrive on in stores on April 15th, and... The Death Metal figures are on Amazon Canada, showing a release date of July 15th. Meanwhile, the Snyder Cut figures have gone kind of in and out of like pre-orderability throughout the Amazon website in the States, but are expected to arrive in June. So we've, we've kind of been complaining the past few weeks that we haven't had a lot of McFarlane news, and he, apparently Todd's listening to the show because BAM! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of it out. <laughs> it's funny because you think to see like maybe one or two of these but all three of course you guys yeah. gotta have a new spawn figure in there just oh yeah because why not <laughs> but I, it's cool to see the snyder cut like figures and um i think i'm definitely gonna do black suit superman and then batman out of this just because you know oh yeah representation. this would just look really cool and i don't have a batman or superman figure at all so this is cool once again yeah. i i'm I like so, I, universe, sorry. I, i'm <laughs> so torn because i really want the entirety of the justice league line and then i'll have to go back and buy wonder woman from the wonder woman 84 movie but like i feel like aquaman and cyborg got the shit out of the sticks they look really rough yeah that's kind of why i was looking through them and i'm thinking like all right cool i saw the 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 flash but then yeah the aquaman and the cyborg do they have a little bit of uh vibes of mirage from oh yeah they got mirage face real bad (laughs) the last the last episode um, yeah, they don't look the greatest. And Aquaman, I mean, come on, you can't mess up this sexy human being. Right, you've got like the sexiest man on earth with Jason Momoa, <laughs> and you're going to do this to that poor man? Yeah, like, that's damn. the shame in itself. But yeah, I, I figure like out of the line, if I'm not going to do the whole thing, obviously it's a safe bet to do Batman Superman, and I mean the Black Suit Superman, come on. I, I feel like I'm, I'm going to do something similar. I think I'm going to go Black Suit Superman, one, maybe both of the Batmans, and then dark side but i'm going i'm going shirts dark side sure? yeah, skin's yeah, dark side looks a little weird he's got that weird like <laughs> rib undercut where it looks like yeah. his body is going up into a mushroom I, it just it doesn't do it for me uh where if the armor it hides a little better i, I yeah. will say 
I, Batman has me iffy too because I really like the Bruce Wayne head. I feel like that looks really good on it. But mm. and granted, this goes back and forth between when you're looking at the inbox picture versus just the standard picture. Batman's head with the mask on looks too small. Like if you're looking at the oh God. the like, yeah, cut my... out cookie cutter image of it, it looks way too small. If you look at it in the package, it looks like it might be right. So I'm not sure if yeah. someone's just really bad at Photoshop and like eh. actually like cropped out like five percent of his head sculpt <laughs> somehow. Yeah. Or if they had him at like a leaned back angle, so his head looked t- smaller. So that one's gonna be like a in hand before I buy it kind of thing, because it just it looks so so itty bitty. Like he he should be in a Beetlejuice <laughs> movie or something. Right. God no. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of see what you're saying on that. I mean, with this, I'm kind of like. For you, it's understandable. You got to be picky. Make sure you get the right size head for your Batman. For me, I'm just like, dude, I, I've i been looking to buy a Batman figure for how, how long. I'm not doing my, my picks. And, you know, I definitely can't shell out that big money for the Ken doll figure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, speaking but, of show representation, though, we, a few weeks ago we were talking about um, the Wonder Woman with the Dr. Fate helmet. And you were like, oh, that might be oh, your yeah. Wonder Woman. I, I feel like, like Death Metal Wonder Woman should be your Wonder Woman. Like, oh, she looks wow. badass. She's got, like, yeah. the blue streaks in her hair. She's got a fucking chainsaw. Like, that's that's a Wonder Woman right You're not there. wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I think it was just a helmet. It gave me, like, a Spartan vibe, you know, the Dr. Fate's <laughs> helmet. But you're, you're 100% not wrong and just completely random. Uh, in a game that came out earlier this year, Cyberpunk 2020, I always do female characters. It's a long story. I'm not getting into it. But, uh that's the same kind of hair i did the black with the blue like streak highlights in it so there you go it's as you if you were cosplaying as wonder woman <laughs> that is true <laughs> yeah that i like this line as well again every time we go into like the death metal stuff i kind of just slap my hand on on the wrist or slap myself on the wrist yeah because i haven't <laughs> like read this this issue or the series um so when i see them i'm just like these are really cool i have no context of what's happening here like I, I will I will make you feel a little better. I have very little context because up until a week ago I hadn't picked up my comic books in a while, so I was missing like three fourths of the story. So okay. I'm still bad. catching up on it, so I know a little bit, but I don't know a whole lot. Yeah. Um, just like I, I either I can't remember it or I didn't get to that point yet, but I have no idea why Superman has a rock arm. Um, okay. <laughs> that was what I was gonna get to. That was the first thing I'm like, wait, okay. Batman, I get it. He has a guitar, and it's also a scythe at the same time. One Roman's edgy. What's up with Superman's arm? <laughs> That's what I, I mean, he is literally the epitome of rock and roll. That... <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Holy crap. Sometimes Greg Capullo and, and, and <laughs> Scott Snyder are just a little on the nose with their references. <laughs> right. <laughs> Either way, these are these are definitely really cool. Um, you may have persuaded me with the the wonder woman here because it looks cool yeah I, I, I like you said these typically are on the shows like when you go in mm-hmm. typically so i do want to at least get them in hand and see them i know the superman for sure is going to be purchased batman probably for sure i will say at least at my target the build of figures usually like are in and out of stock like constantly mm-hmm. like when i was doing the uh last night on earth wave i got there and only found three of the four or no, I only found two of the four and then had to continually search and search. And then a week later they got restocked again and I managed to get the other two. And then okay. a week later I saw them again and they just kept like selling out and then getting them back in a week later. So it's, it's definitely a kind of have to be a little vigilant on it, but yeah. it, it, they're still not like, te- they're not something that once they sell out, they're gone kind of thing. Okay. That gives me hopes. I mean, we do frequent target. I've been doing a lot of pickups and I got to start going inside. <laughs> but you say i still got a little bit of time though yeah these these don't even have like uh anything well, any sort of like yeah. real release date these i think it was what was it was it these yeah these are listed for april 15th okay so you have a, a little over a month that's cool that's cool so and that's, and that's the... when they're expected to be in target so that could be give or take two okay. one to two weeks either direction right that's true it could be in the end of june Wait, May, April, May. March? Yeah, May's coming know. before June. <laughs> what do you think about like the build a figure though? I, I mean, again, you said you have very little context on it, um, but I know you always kind of 
it's it's like the idea is this something that you would try and go for or not i see i'm i'm hesitant just because like i i don't i haven't gotten deep enough in this book to know if i love it enough to where i'm like i need all four of these because right now i don't think i'm gonna buy any of the four because Uh don't really have any interest in robin king because it's it's clearly a damian wayne-esque uh robin um wonder woman she's she's the only one i might get just because she does look pretty badass and i'm not super into the last night on earth wonder woman that we have Uh um don't need superman and luckily i entertainment earth finally shipped me my dark uh, my dark knight's death metal batman the the regular version with the actual scythe so i'm like i don't really need the rocking out with his cock out with a guitar version Um, so i feel like out of the four of these the only one i'd potentially buy would be wonder woman and oh, my no, fear is if I get her and we have those pieces and be like, well, fuck it. I might as well get the other three and then have to build a figure. and It's going to be a whole thing. So I think it's going to be a either all in or not at all situation. Right. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, if you do need the the cape, I guess, and the helmet or the head. Is that what yeah, it's yeah. the head and cape, I think. Yeah, I could, I could probably do that because I, I think I'm going to get that here. So I'm I'm on the book saying, yeah. Well, you you heard it here first. It's gonna be in his cart as soon as it hits Big Bad Toy Store. <laughs> <laughs> How long he knows? See. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like we can't leave Spawn out though. Like. No. Oh yeah. That's uh, true. I, I, we saw the blue version a few months ago. That was the Walmart exclusive um, gold label version, and now that we're getting this normal red version, I, as much as I liked the blue version, I kind of like the the way the red version looks a little better. It just feels more Spawn. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. I I still again Spawn is another one of those things that I'm just like I don't I don't know, but I don't know the story behind this. Is, I don't want to be like offensive, but this this is Mandarin Spawn. So does this has anything to do with like the Chinese New Year or anything like that, or is there just a Spawn who is in China? I I would assume it's got something to do with some sort of like Chinese mythology, okay. but I I didn't read the comics growing okay. up either so i'm not super knowledgeable about it but i have to assume if you're going to use the word mandarin in your title you're going to have some sort of like asian like mythology or something in there to to kind of inspire that otherwise then you might be a little racist for just being like he's mandarin spawn because i said so <laughs> it's a badass design regardless but yeah between the red and blue I probably would side with you a little bit with the red. I don't know, though, if it's just because the red and gold. Just I think it's just because we're so used yeah. to Spawn being red and white and black that the red just uh, well, it yeah. makes you feel at home. Because that yeah. blue looked really good, but I just see this and I'm like, that's Spawn. Like, he that does, doesn't look like Spawn, but that's Spawn. Yeah, that was the next thing is where is the <laughs> Spawn, but it's, it's cool. It's still cool. We need someone who just, like, watches the show – and just dedicated to like filling in our, you know, our nerd gaps. Yeah, you know, we need someone to comment every week and tell us what we fucked up and where our uh, information is wrong. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I'm not the type of person who's offended if you correct me. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with this Another... McFarland news. Like, it was it was a pretty yeah. solid week. I, I was super excited about the the justice league stuff just because we're a week away from the snyder cut releasing so so close oh man so close. Get your get, getting all tingly just ready. thinking about it <laughs> <laughs> speaking of companies though that get me all tingly NECA sure. gave us closer looks at the american werewolf in london head sculpt no release date or info just yet just randy kind of putting things out in the ethos uh, but he also then teased the Back to the Future 2 Griff Tannen with a teaser image of his like weird extendo baseball bat thing he uses in the movie. Um, and we got first look at the Gremlins accessory pack, which will be featuring the Barbie sports car. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by the, the Griff Tannen stuff, like... Seeing the yeah. fact they're going to do like some of the stuff from Back to the Future 2 that might not be like super important to have in your collection, but it's still kind of cool to have. Yeah. I I, I just feel absolutely. like I feel like now we need to have Old Man. We need two versions of Old Man. Um, Biff. 
Because yeah. we need right. we need rickety old man who steals the DeLorean, and then we need rich dirtbag uh, <laughs> Biff <laughs> from the the dark universe future. I could see that possibly happening because they're doing such a good job with this line. I mean, oh, yeah. it's probably not realistically happening, but they they are doing such a good job with like this license. They're not even holding back, which is pretty cool. That wow. I feel like they're they're going so quickly through these characters aside from giving us like 30 versions of Marty and doc, which could definitely be done. You're going to have to have those side characters and there's not very many big side characters to go through before you start getting nitty gritty. Um, Cause there's obviously characters that you're never going to have. Like you're not going to have Marty's dad because that actor was at odds with um, the back to the future, like directors and producers and everything. So yeah. So they'll never get that license. No one's getting his license. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, not for him whatever yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> just kind of know. <laughs> but yeah what what do you do at this point i i, I would assume we're gonna get those two biffs that i mentioned yeah then we'll probably get um we'll probably start getting into back to future three with some of the wild west characters we'll obviously yeah. get marty and doc and then probably some of the um bad guys from that um maybe do the mcfly who wasn't marty the mm. um like old kind of wasn't he didn't he have like an irish accent or something in the movie like the older version of of michael j fox who was like Predator. yeah i think it was irish it, it sounded like i i thought it was irish but i could be wrong it's been a, a hot minute since i've watched yeah, the yeah. movies <laughs> yes <laughs> um so you probably do that um and then you still, we, I think we still need future Marty with like the, the fancy like jacket that like zips up itself and the yeah. uh, other yeah, stuff. True, true. And then they could do uh, Marty's son, who's like a bum. How he has like he doesn't oh. like properly like zip up his clothes. So he's got like the one sleeve that's just like hanging down. Like he's got like a a missing arm and some shit. That'd um, be really cool. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff they could do. Yeah. Um, I kind of the- was this point that they're kind of like getting tapped out but yeah you yeah so they barely started tapping into it yeah, we've got right. like three marty's but we really we'll only have, have like movie, one and a half yeah. docs because the other one isn't out yet i just um, feel like because we see so many shots of the same oh, yeah. one that i in my mind i think that we have multiple marty's, yeah but yeah because a lot of the marty and, and doc stuff they look so similar it's hard to tell the differences and stuff for like minor things yeah. um i definitely want future doc with the cool shades um, that would be cool. And I'd love them to do a in scale DeLorean, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. <laughs> uh, um, I I just have to chuckle. I know we don't like do a lot with like we cover the gremlin stuff. But this is this is hilarious. This is right? I, I just feel like I don't want to say it's just NECA because I'm sure there's other companies, but this is kind of what we cover and you know what yeah. I see the most of. But they're legitimately just seem to be having fun with like their licenses. Like they're oh, yeah. having so much fun. I, I absolutely love it. We'll obviously talk about other licenses that they do later, but like the, the, the Barbie car, like this is so awesome. That's, that's, that's amazing. I, I will say look they are one of girl. the only companies I can think of that do actual licensed accessory packs. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of companies that will do like generic ones. Like here's just a bunch of guns or a bunch of like random weapons or like other odds and ends, but to actually have licensed items that were seen in the movie or the cartoon or what have you and have those just sold separately for you. So you don't have to rebuy the same figure six yeah. times to get all the different pieces like I already do. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of nice to have that happen, especially like, when they have lines like Ninja Turtles and even Back to the Future, there's so many things that they might miss that they could throw into like a twenty dollar accessory pack. Mm-hmm. So it, it's kind of cool that they do that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. And then the American so Werewolf that that head sculpt yeah. just looks really cool. Uh, I'm glad. Yeah. I'm kind of shocked, but also glad they gave us a, a little closer look at it because that first picture they showed was really nice. But this kind of solidifies just like how much work's going into it versus it like being in like a perfectly lit situation to being like harsh light on just on a stick for you to see like all the details. Yeah. These keep going. It's funny because the contrast of what it was announced, we go kind of like silly to like something more serious, but like 
it shows like this just again shows like NECA's work of like we can make something really fun but we also can go into like heavy detail and make something that's just amazing with like statues which is really cool and it still got me me itching for this line and I don't know why <laughs> I, don't, I don't have like an affinity for like the monsters but it's just cool it's really cool and I don't know I'm a better segue it. than another company that's going to have you itching for their toys here oh, soon. God. And that is Loyal Subjects, who released images from their next wave of five inch figures. We've got the animated Ninja Turtles with Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. Animated series Beetlejuice and two versions of Lydia, one in the purple outfit and one in the red spiderweb outfit. We've got Ozzy Osbourne. And the Kiss Spaceman. Now, I will say, I used to know dude's actual name, but he's just listed as Spaceman, so I'm not going to bother trying to figure it out. And then we have Buffy and Angel from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And then, once again, Gremlins, we've got Gizmo and Stripe. And the last one, which I know is probably surprisingly going to be the one you're most excited for, which is Aang from the Avatar The Last Airbender animated show. So no pre-orders or anything yet. These were just kind of thrown up there. They are expected to be fifteen ninety nine though, like the rest of the series. I'm just, I'm at all because they're just be like, what random licenses can we get to throw in this? And they're they're killing yeah. it. Like they they look really cool. Now, granted, I'm a little skeptical about some of them just because <laughs> I've seen Wave One in person. Some of the human characters not as impressive as I'd like them to be. Mm-hmm. So it's it's kind of very hit or miss, but the turtles were probably gonna be an easy hit, and Ang is gonna be a super easy hit, and it's, I imagine same thing with like Beetlejuice. Yeah, I, I agree. It, well, first you said like random licenses, and I could not agree more. Like when you showed me the the announcement for this or these photos, it's just a ball of randomness. Like, oh yeah, you got turtles. Yeah, Ang from Avatar, Beetlejuice, and then Buffy the Vampire Slayer with. And Gremlins and, and, and Ozzy Osbourne. Osbourne. <laughs> I'm like, what? What did they just like shook a box up and they got the pick five and that was. Right, I feel like that's how the meetings at Little Subjects go. They're like, all right, everybody into the office room. All right, everybody, here's the hat. We've got all the names of all the properties we have rights to and at least one or two characters from each. Everyone gets to pick one thing and that's going to be a figure we do. <laughs> but I think Buffy did have kind of like a, a comeback. Maybe a year or so ago, so maybe that's why I I could be making this up. It, I thought it was Buffy that people were like talking about, but anyways, let's just be real here. The turtles, like you said, it's gonna be an easy easy buy for me. It's mm-hmm. already like the loyal subjects, the the little bit smaller ones and the little different designs. So of course, like why not do these? And then of course the avatar. I gotta buy anything avatar just so they know that it's a need. I'll even buy the extra characters so we can get to Korra. Okay. <laughs> So everyone, please oh, buy Aang. You just have a closet full of like going. side characters from Avatar that you don't <laughs> I want. For Korra, I don't have anything for Korra. Like, uh, but yeah, it, it totally makes sense. Honestly, I really hope it does at least get like to seventy percent mm-hmm. of quality in these renders, and I'll be kind of happy. Like you said, you did kind of like put a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of rain on on the parade there when you said like, hey be cautious so i am yeah. a little cautious but at the same time i'm super ecstatic for this line to see like what we got yeah because i mean some of the stuff looks cool. great like i've seen i've seen most of the wave one in, in store uh mm-hmm. some way or another and the cowboy bebop figures look really good mm-hmm. uh yeah, alphonse sure. from full metal alchemist looks good edward's okay he's passable uh the the big trouble in little china figures real rough looking Mm. um what else was there there's uh oh what's his name what what's the movie with the guy with the curly hair uh vote for pedro oh napoleon dynamite. napoleon dynamite that's right i i yeah. saw him and he looks real bad um, oh really oh yeah he looks real real bad like they did not like i don't know if they just couldn't afford his actual likeness or they just didn't put any effort in getting it but if it wasn't for the hair and just like the tight jeans and and white shirt would have no idea that was napoleon without the the box saying so uh so like it's it's we i'm all like 
I'm 50-50 on McFarland's line. This this is truly 50-50. Like, like half that line looked good, half that line looked like trash. So okay. um and just just kind of be cautious. It's it's one of those things I I would say wait and see if your store carries these, wait and see how they look in person before you buy them unless you just don't care and you just want the shelf representation um rather than yeah, ordering yeah, yeah. them online, getting them in, in the, the mail and being disappointed. Uh I will say I don't need the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I I don't need them. But I'm, <laughs> I, I'm not just because I've I've got animated turtles. I don't need these ones that are based off the bright green like marketing versions. Yeah. Um, if I needed that, I would have kept the second set of turtles I bought to get the pizza boxes. Um, <laughs> I I will say it's a huge missed opportunity because as much as I don't like it, they could have easily done Rise figures, or better oh, yet, done cool. 2012 figures because really the only figure representation we have of 2012 was the Play revel tech well yeah, i'm not playmates talking about now i'm not talking we don't talk about playmates on the show <laughs> okay okay we Those do but bad. we we don't we don't talk about them in a sense not of like that's what we need way. yeah <laughs> but uh yeah that did just simply saying that it could have been rise almost disappoints me now in these figures it's one of those things where <laughs> you get excited for like a nintendo direct because you're gonna see like the new breath of the wild 2 and then there's nothing there it's mario golf which is awesome, but not Breath of the Wild 2. That's yeah. what I feel right now. Because now I'm like, man, that could have been an easy pull just for Rise. But Nickelodeon pretends like Rise never happened or doesn't exist. So, Which is weird because they're doing that what movie, aren't they? What? Is it Rise? I mean, well, they have so many things in production. They've got the, um, sure, I've lost the, the track Seth Rogen movie. You got Seth Rogen? And then I could have yeah. swore they were doing a Rise movie since the show got canceled to kind of wrap everything up full like Firefly style. Okay. And then they've yeah. got the another like TV show or movie that's supposed to be happening too. So they've got I think three things in production for Turtles. That's fair. Uh, yeah, they they don't like Rise. No. I I, but yeah, I I mean the characters kind of look cool with this, and I, I like the little Ninja Stars and stuff that I gotten with the like previous oil subject mm-hmm. like figures, and they were pretty solid. So I mean, if we're going based off of your opinion so far, I believe one. These might be the only ones that look decent. Yeah, because it's <laughs> usually the cartoon characters that turned out decent. So right. I have a feeling those, <laughs> Aang, and Beetlejuice are safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. I, I'm looking forward to other stuff in the line, too. I think there was some uh, some other possible licenses they had. Uh, one of my favorite animes is Death Note. Mm-hmm. And if I can get a light and an elf figure, that would be super cool. Yeah, so, that's another problem is like they keep getting these anime licenses, and I'm like... I really want to do these, but like the fact that Edward was kind of mediocre and I'm like, he's so easy. He's a short blonde kid. Like, how do you fuck yeah. that up? Um, if they do a Vash the stampede though, I, he, he'll, he could literally look like a dog turd in a red coat and I'd still buy it. <laughs> See, that's kind of how I feel about like light and L just because you don't, I don't have literally anything from mm. like death note. So it doesn't matter. I just, well, I, I have a Vash the stampede figure, but it was it, like you want to talk about Ken dolls. This thing was literally a Ken doll. Like he's 12 <laughs> inches tall, though he's fully oh, no. posable. He has a, a like pleather jacket and oh, like yeah. soft goods pants and stuff. But the problem is because the jacket was pleather, it's starting to like deteriorate. Oh yeah. So like I just have him in a box in my closet, trying to preserve him as long as possible. Cause I don't want him to, <laughs> to fall apart anymore. Cause I've, I've had that figure for over a decade. So Oh, wow. it's not not that i'm not a new figure by any means it makes me sad because it's a really cool and well done figure yeah but yeah it, it did not hold up over time um, you have to see that maybe post that on twitter twitter a tweeter the tweeter <laughs> put that on their tweeter we, we need to see that bring it out just for a photo and then you can put it back in your uh vacuum seal oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit yeah, I'll I'll dig through all my boxes in my closet, and I'll have to do that one day so everyone can see it. Um, but moving on, though, we do have some Mezco news. Not much, though. They dropped orders for their black-suited Baron Benz for $95 shipping this month, and also teased more exclusives from their Gomezverse are to come on March 18th. So, as far as the black-suited Baron Benz... I wasn't super into the original version. He's kind of cool. He's like a scuba diver, like zombified Scooby-Doo villain type thing. 
um, which in theory is cool, but it I just doesn't have a place in any of my collections, so I didn't need it. Yeah. And I, I like I, this one is even cooler because he the first one didn't come with the unmasked heads, so yeah. the first one was just the domes, and this one you get the like weird like Pos- Poseidon Aquaman head, but it's like blue and ghostly, which is still kind of cool. Um, but it just it just wasn't for me. I'm more interested in to see what's coming on March 18th because the rumor is it's going to be, uh, what is it? It's the Black Skull Brigade, which are basically these super generic agents in like all black that come with some like bunch of like guns and like spy accessories and then just have a black skull for a head. So I'm like, that's an easy pop out to make something else. Like yeah. buy a few of those and have some, some quick uh, random baddies for Batman and, and everybody to beat up on. <laughs> you so you said agent and this kind of made me think does masco have they ever done anything with like bond no not directly so they yeah. they're the gomez figure started with an agent gomez where he was in like a yeah. a suit jacket and tie and everything but he was wearing chucks um and then they did a stealth gomez which was pretty much the what's going to be the black skull brigade but with a gomez head and then they had a gold mez, which was the agent like suited one, but he had a gold mm-hmm. shirt. Was it a gold shirt? No, it was a black shirt, gold tie. And then a, they actually like sent a solid gold head. Like this thing had some weight to it. Um, mm-hmm. So they've done mm-hmm. some like bond esque things with their agent yeah. Gomez, but they don't actually seem it's to have the, the bond license. Yeah. It seems like they're just like out here showing like what they can do. Yeah. And every, I, I mean, I know the ones that you should kind of mentioned before, and obviously on all these episodes, um, that would be cool to see, like somebody like them to get that, especially with the weapons and stuff that they do. That'd be cool. I feel like that'd be real yeah. easy. Like if they could get the license and the likenesses, they oh, could yeah, do one right. figure and have all the bonds. Because for the most part, his yeah. suit doesn't change much, unless you want to go like. If you wanted Daniel Craig to be more in like a, a black ops yeah, like more... turtleneck or something like that, but if you just yeah. wanted a suited Bond figure, you could literally have all of the Bond heads and just make them swappable, and then you could cool. mix and match however you want. Or they could just sell you like, you know, a Bond pack with all of them, and it costs you two thousand dollars. So we'll see. <laughs> that seems excessive. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the Blu-ray set? It was, yeah. It was yeah, like, but that that was they're, they're just because there's a bunch of movies doesn't mean there's a as, that many bonds. Like all of them had multiple right, well, movies. Yeah, but it'd probably be like, I mean, realistically, there's like probably four. We'd say right, Sean yeah. Connery, Roger Moore, Peter Fronson, Daniel Craig. That's yeah. what we need. All right. So that's four cool. heads. That's roughly what the average best co-figure comes with. So. No, I meant with bodies, though. With bodies. Oh, you we want do. them with bodies? Yes. If you want yeah. a four pack, you're probably looking at about yeah, three or four hundred bucks. Older, yeah, older style like suits, more modern. You know, you gotta. I don't think. I jokes on you. If style. they do a four pack with them each having their own bodies, all four of them motherfuckers get in the same suit. They <laughs> they <laughs> they ain't get a special tailor older style suits for the the other bonds. They're like, well, all I you motherfuckers that's... are secretly Daniel Craig with a mask on. <laughs> The Scooby uh, Scooby Doo treatment. So on March 18th, then, do you think it's just going to be just that figure specifically? Are you going to pre-order? Is it something? Um, so yeah, if those go up, I will pre-order. There's there's all sorts of rumors because with the Black Spartan Craig figure we talked about last week or the week before, mm-hmm. uh, he came yeah. with a comic. And what they do with some of their exclusives when they do a comic in the back of it is that old like ad where you can see all the mm-hmm. other things you can get, and usually yeah. it's a tease for things to come. So there's talks of a a second um, weapons pack, another set of, like, heads, a soft goods accessory pack, and there was one more. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, they are going to take all of my money on the 18th because (laughs) most of these things sound badass. So I'm I'm genuinely curious to see how they all look. I'll check in on you. Yeah, we'll find out. Next (laughs) next Thursday, I'm either going to be living in a box or potentially (laughs) dead from just overload of too much. (laughs) Oh, God. Uh, Moving on, though, we have Mattel, who had some of their overseas leaks happen. 
uh, for the uh, new Ma- uh, Masters of the Universe Masterverse figures. These were listed on overseas e-retailer Savi. Uh, their website had He-Man, Skeletor, Spikor, Tila, Mossman, uh, Man at Arms, Evil Lynn, Beastman, Battle Cat, and Oversized Skeletor all listed for pure, but didn't really have any pictures. There have been some images leaked as well of some of the figures and some speculation. Um, so these are expected to hit Walmarts in June in the States and will probably retail around $24.99 with the exception of Battle Cat, who will be probably around $39.99. And these also seem to be more in line with the, I want to say, early 2000s Masters of the Universe line where they moved on from the old, like, short and stalky thing to like yeah. why is he man look like he should be a calvin klein model um <laughs> design <laughs> with his 30 pack abs and he's just tall and lanky and and yeah, yeah but yeah. still like muscular as hell and it's just like this is very weird but it, it was a be huge deal because you know the true strength comes from within like well according to mattel that that's bullshit because <laughs> he is jacked as fuck <laughs> no i so I I was looking at these and I thought, man, I really dig these, and it's because of the, the design of them yeah. being more yeah like slender and mm-hmm. cool, and it doesn't have like that over eighties like vibe to it, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm really really kind of curious to see what like Nate thinks of this because you know we make the joke about him being like you know Old. Masters of the Universe like his thing. <laughs> No, like that he's into this. I wonder if it is it the just the pure nostalgia of like the true '80s vibe or like the real actual figures, or is it just the overall like license? So is he going to be into this as well, or is this kind of like the I don't really like this design. I'm just curious. It, it, it's hard to tell though because yeah, I, I don't think I've ever really talked to him about it in that sense. Like the he seems into Masters of the Universe in general because he came yeah, on the week yeah. after we talked about that weird art gal oh yeah, yeah. Uh, thing the crossover thing yeah and he was all for it and he's like mm-hmm. jokes on you i'll wear all of it um <laughs> as he was wearing his loot crate ninja turtles gear um, right so i i i genuinely Imagine. think he just loves masters in the universe yeah. but i don't know his feelings about the early 2000s line i assume he collected it just because i can't imagine well, he was yeah, just like oh this isn't the toy i had as a child fuck you um that's true I mean, if anything, if he if this is something he's excited for, it's a good thing he was on the show this week because I, I don't think that his surgery is healed enough. He might uh popped a, a cheek or something, you know, and all of that money would have been wasted. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a shame. You know, it would, it would have made gr- for great YouTube. I would have had to change the headline to to co-host Pop's ash cheek <laughs> live on news. <laughs> Just spilling <laughs> booty cheese all over the place oh no rhinoplasty Um, just all over his harley quins (laughs) (laughs) yeah i'll I'll definitely be tuning in for like the next episode he's on i'm just curious if he if it's something he's like super into or if it's kind of like he had a point you gotta think he's like "Ah, i don't like this this isn't this is not my he man but then again he might be I mean, then again, he gets pretty much everything. Like he collects so many lines, I think he would just just be like, "Fuck it." it. (laughs) I just want to know where. At what point does he have no room in his basement to sit and record the show? (laughs) But yeah, I'm curious. And of course, every time Master of the Universe shows up now in the stories, and Nate's not on, we're just yeah, it's just me fumbling through names, you making fun of me, and then us wondering what Nate's thinking. Right. I gotta love it. Absolutely. I feel like if we ever had a Motu crowd, they are long gone at this point. They're They're like, the the bald white guy who who knows us isn't on, so fuck this. <laughs> Flash of warning at the beginning of every episode. No, it's all in good fun, so I'm sure they enjoy the entertainment. If, if they don't, well, watch anyway, because uh, we're desperate for views. Uh, <laughs> desperate. Yes. <laughs> we, will, we will make Nate do literally anything, including... <laughs> getting butt cheek enlargements yeah um, if you happen to notice color. when he's on here in a couple of weeks he might be slightly elevated uh, 
<laughs> I've never talked Speaking... this much about Nate's butt before in my life. <laughs> Speaking of cheap plastic, uh, <laughs> well, not really cheap. Uh, Hasbro oh. is in the news this week. First, they announced that the Hasbro Pulse UK site has finally launched on March 10th. And then they gave us uh, some new Marvel Legends. Once again, I'm going to give you a spoiler warning. If you're not caught up on WandaVision, move on to the next timestamp because you're about to get two pretty major spoilers. And three, two, one. Sucks to be you. Uh, So we are getting, well, we already knew we were getting the White Vision, but now we have more solicitations of that. But now we are also getting the... Scarlet Witch with Wanda, full headgear, energy effects, new costume, whole nine yards. And these look absolutely fantastic. Uh, there are no pre orders or dates yet, but my guess, given the normal timeline that Hasbro does, we'll probably see them sometime between late summer, early fall, be my guess. Yes. Is that. Is that what you want for me? A hundred percent, yes. <laughs> Give me these now. That's it. We joked about it, or not really joked about it, but we talked about it before when we saw the the. It's so weird saying white vision when you saw the white vision. Like uh, it does, it makes you feel a little dirty. Like that's that's yeah, the like, that's, that's the that's right? the racist vision. He was beaten yeah. up on the color vision on the TV. <laughs> that's very true. What is going on in this show? There's a whole new meaning to it. Watch it again. Trust me, you'll find it. Um, but no, like I, I really am like super into this, and I didn't. We we talked about oh, what could we possibly get? Could we get something else? And then uh, I missed the most obvious answer in front of us was Wanda and the Scarlet Witch like new outfit. Yeah, okay. Whenever it's ready, I'm ready to buy it. Yes. You know, in awesome. our defense, we hadn't seen her in that outfit yet. Uh, that is the only thing we had true. seen is if it like on the wallpaper. Um, for the episodes on Disney Plus, you can see it, yeah. like bits and pieces of it in the TVs below her, but we never we hadn't seen a full reveal That's of it true. until literally the day that the news went up. So That's true. it's not on us on that point for night figuring That's that rare. one That's out. Rare. That's rare. I can't remember things in time, so that makes sense. But yeah, a hundred percent. Like there's yes, just yes, <laughs> just get these out so we can buy them. Uh, I I don't really have anything else that I would particularly want like but i i, I kind of feel like i want a vision but i know that probably already existed at some point yeah they've, they've got so many different versions of him you could pick yeah. him up pretty easily i so i will I, say i kind of want I, I still want the halloween two pack well yeah that's that's you know and that's next level get ready i, I also kind of want like i almost want the next like couple years of con exclusives to be uh-huh. a two pack of them in each era of the show so you get Ooh. the I Love Lucy, Dick Van Dyke era. Yeah. You get the Brady Bunch era. You get the even the and then you can do a single pack since at that point Vision pieced out. You can do her and her sweatpants for the Modern Family yeah. <laughs> version. <laughs> um, that almost is too perfect for that to even exist. We don't, and we I'm don't gonna, gonna make it even more too perfect so that way our expectations can never be met. Each two pack comes in a television set as a TV box, <laughs> as the, the box. Yeah, that that literally could not exist. If that yeah. existed, then you know there would be harsh things. There will be twenty twenty times ten. I don't know if, if that makes sense. If that math works, did you just go full Goku? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we would not be able to exist in the reality where that would be the same. We would need vision. To like somehow and Wanda change our reality to make that even exist. This is true. We'd, we'd have to live in the hex for that to happen. That is true. There we go. That's what I was trying. I, was, to I, I knew where you were going, so I'm like, I'll, I'll help him along. He's, I was gonna start he's with stumbling through this. And, I was and... Like, wait, no, Wanda did the. Yeah, I, we're totally spoiling everything. But at this point, you. I, I already said spoiler warning. So <laughs> sucks to suck, kid. If you didn't peace out and hit the next uh, timestamp. But yeah, I'm I'm 100 in for this. So give me these now. Uh, I mean, we might as well stay with the WandaVision news because meanwhile, Diamond Select put up pre-orders already for their Marvel Select Scarlet Witch. And she's available on Big Bad Toy Store for $27.99 shipping in October. And I'm not going to lie, while the Marvel Legend one's probably going to be better because it's more articulated, this one looks better. Like you've got the hooded head and the non-hooded head. The costume just has a little more like pizzazz to it and a little more detail. 
Like this one, this one's talking about some shelf representation right there. You're you're not wrong. The only thing is, we'd have to know if there's more coming from the wave, just because you can't be mix matching. You know, your wand and your vision. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can. Oh, I man, mean, unless you, you want white it. vision, like the vision literally yeah, hasn't changed pretty, aside from some costume changes right. in this show. <laughs> right. No, I mean, I, in all seriousness. I do have an ang from Diamond, and I, I, like you said, it's not even so much articulation for me. It's just something normally. I, I don't know. I'm judging it off of just the one figure that I have from there, and I've kind of like looked at some of the other like Avatar figures, but they just seem really, really flimsy to me, and that's the only thing that kind of worries me. Whereas I, the Marvel Legends, they do again. Of course, like you said, articulation is obviously there more, but it feels like a more sturdier like figure yeah and they're you know, relatively similar in pricing but you're not wrong though this the design much better yeah almost makes the marvel legend one kind of shameful right well well here's the thing though like marvel legend is for pose and play where yeah diamond select they're more of just like it looks pretty yeah like it bore light it like it, as much as I like the Diamond Select one visually better, I feel like you'd be better off getting a statue at that point. Because like you mentioned, they're not very easy to work with with poses and stuff. So it's going to be either you're leaving it in the box or she's just going to be staying there there. like a weird Wanda bot like on your shelf. Like getting her in a good pose where she's going to stay there, not going to be easy unless they have a stand for her to kind of sit in. Also, I mean, neither one of them knocks it out of the park. Face-wise, though, Marvel Legends looks a little bit closer to, to yeah, her, Elizabeth yeah, Olsen. Then this one, I, I'm just picking, you know. I mean, I mean you kind of have to. You have to when you have two figures that are that close in price point. Like there's a ten dollar difference there. You have to nitpick yeah. to figure out which one you really want better. But yeah, as far as the hooded and non hooded, that's probably a, a thing that makes it look a little bit better. Plus the hair is a little more flowier in a sense. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's close. I, I will say the one thing that would tip it more in Diamond's favor is if they give, instead of giving her just, like, a normal display stand, they give her, like, a red energy, like, floating up, mm. so you just stick her in it, and then she's floating on your shelf. Because that would solve the posability problem, because she doesn't, she yeah. can just sit there with her arms out and be done with it, and it would just look really badass. Yeah, you wouldn't really need to pose it in any other way mm-hmm. if you have that. So that's fair. So we'll see. And that's already pre-orderable. Yeah. So that's also another tick in the box there. Like, you can just jump on that right now. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Man. Marvel Legends usually pumps their shit up pretty quickly. I'm just giving a, a a long game guess with my late summer, early fall, but our luck, it'll probably be June. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I was going to mention it, but it's, it's not really that big of a deal to go into it, but the fact that the Diamond Split is, like, ready, even though it says shipping in October because Big Bad Toys is taking, you know, pre-orders early or whatnot, it does kind of feel like the... I wish that this stuff could be, like, now, in mm-hmm. a sense, because... You have such a high on the show. Everyone tomorrow is going to be, or today, because you're watching this on Friday, is kind of a little bit bummed that there's, like, no new episode because, you know, that would have been cool to be like, and you can go order this today kind of thing yeah. like that, you know, and get that sooner. So. I think the, way, the biggest just, problem is the with the internet, with spoiler culture, oh, yeah, the way spoiler. it is, oh, yeah, that there's sure. no way they could have had these toys ready to ship yeah, and kept them a secret. Like, anything. that's Lego – Lego and Funko's biggest problem is they have shit ready to be on shelves so quickly that halftime it it spoils major plot points to movies. So it's kind of like a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Because either, cool, the hype's here and we sell all these toys and people are happy, or, oh no, we just ruined the show because we revealed Wanda's new costume the week before the episode hit because it hit Walmart's shelves a little early. So... (laughs) It's, it's, true. It's, true. it's really hard to, to kind of walk that line. Moving on, though, a company we don't talk about very often, that is Mondo. They put up pre-orders for their new Marvel Mecha Spider-Man and Black Symbiote Spider-Man. Both come up with a slew of hands, swords, and web effects. Both are standing at 10 inches tall. Spider-Man is $160, and the Symbiote Spider-Man is $170. However, supposedly, from what I've read, if you pre-order both before March 31st, you can get 25% off your order. And these are expected to ship in July. So, 
I, these are cool, but I'm very confused. Like I just, it, yeah. it, it's very out there for such a like large and niche thing. Like we see so many other companies do stylized versions of characters, but usually they're still in that like six to seven inch scale. So it's like, you can just throw it in with something else and be like, Oh, I'll have it. I'll have robot Wolverine fighting my Gundams or Godzilla or something. And it'd look cool. Or even if you just want the line in general, but going full 10 inches, like that, that's a ballsy move. Yeah. We talked on the previous episode again. I don't know anything about time right now, but with the Iron Man like esque figures and like the Wolverine, I think that's what you're kind of referring mm-hmm. to. What my defense to that was like, yeah, this is kind of weird, but Iron Man Iron suits are cool, you know, like this looks cool. This I'm not a hundred percent a fan of. I don't I don't know if it's just something about this feels weird to me. <laughs> like when you said ten inches, I'm like, okay, maybe it's just because it's ten inches tall. But I don't know. I can't put my thumb on it. But I'm I'm like, yeah. Do we? Yeah, okay, cool. There's somebody out there that's loving this. Yeah. And I guess if you're a fan of like the the mech, like style, I feel like this is kind of the same. But I don't know. I, th- I, don't I know think just I because that. we're so spoiled by those like Iron Man suits from, like I think it's Amazing Yamaguchi or some of the other yeah. companies that do them, that those look so intricate and like have so many aspects to it that these almost look plain. Yeah, which is then emphasized because they're so big. It just kind of like almost looks like model kit, like yeah, it but had, not had, like it's cool like a Gundam. Yeah. If you show me pictures of these, like just just the figure, not the accessories, and not said it was Mondo and not said it was ten inches tall, I would have assumed this was going to be like a fifteen to twenty dollar children's toy that I'd find at Walmart, like just yeah. from the, the normal look of it, just because just the way it's built. Like I'm not saying it looks cheap, I'm just saying the design looks like it's. More into like trying to get little Timmy to be like robot Spider Man and yeah, it looks simple and and in a in a good way, but not like oh, this is a trash. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, it's, yeah, it's not good. it's not Mirage's face, um, but it's it's it, it 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 definitely it just it doesn't look as intricate to be like oh yeah, that's something I totally spent 160 bucks for my shelf for. Yeah, especially the symbiote one because being like all black, it looks very just simple. Yeah, because yeah. you can you can barely see the details in that one unless you have it lit properly because you you're just you're not gonna have any like paint like changes except for like in the white logo and stuff. Yeah, well, I'm glad it wasn't me that just kind of like looking at this in a weird way, but you probably presented that much better. It is a very simple design in the sense yeah. of not too much going on, but still kind of rad. But at the same time, when you said 160, I was like, wait. Well, <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, I, I hesitated <laughs> I when I was putting it in the show mono. notes today because mm-hmm. part of my fear was like, I don't really know if I have a whole lot of positive to bring to this story. And I don't know if there's enough on the bone for even Jamar to have something positive about this. But I was like, at the same time, though, it's Mondo and they're like a big yeah, deal. You know, and yeah. I feel like these are still cool, at least in concept. And if they weren't 160 bucks. I could probably see it being a little easier to, to swallow, but yeah. that's 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 hot toys territory, and oh, that's yeah. not hot toys <laughs> energy. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is, like you said, if you order both, you get twenty five. Yeah, off. I mean that's that's a hell no of an incentive. Lying. Like, but, if you're already planning on buying these, yeah, if you're already getting them, you might as well get both because that's a right. hell of a, a hell of a deal if that if you can get that. Uh, <laughs> Speaking, though, of fancy armored Spider-Men, uh, Amazing Yamaguchi and Rebel Tech put up pre-orders for their Iron Spider figure. This is the Iron Spider from the comics, not the MCU. So you have that nice golden red, the, the golden red that I love so much. Uh, he comes with a slew of hands, posable spider legs, web effects, and a flight stand. Uh, Iron Spider is available for builder on Big Bad Toy Store for $89.99, shipping in July. So, I, I, I realize I had mentioned this because, I mean, obviously I knew it was coming next. But, yeah. like, this is what I think of when I think of, like, the mechanized suits. is In that, like, yeah. crazy amount of detail, those sharp edges everywhere to really hone down that it's it's a mech suit of some kind. Yeah. Yeah, and and then again, like seeing these in the action poses, that's also probably what mm-hmm. really threw me off with the Mondos. It's just kind of just standing there, 
and then you see these action poses that's what gives you that flair of like okay this is awesome and look what you can do with these and it just looks amazing so that i think that's what it is it was, if we're going back to that that's the comparison that's what i was trying to say but with this figure this is freaking insane <laughs> so awesome like it's crazy uh i know if i was to buy this though i wouldn't be able to do any of these poses <laughs> <laughs> it would just be sitting here on the shelf <laughs> like, but it's so awesome though like i i again i love rebel tech stuff man i love it give me more that i can do with i i will say though in in defense to mondo they did have some pictures of them posed but they weren't anything like this so mm -hmm. the i just chose the the ones that i could because i can only fit so many graphics in the show and the sure. other ones were primarily like a little bit of the figure but at 90 percent like wallpaper so I was uh, like, I'd rather have something that emphasizes more on what the figure looks like than just having, yeah. like, cool things that they put up as, like, splash backgrounds. I won't blame you for the misrepresentation and making me be negative, but that's okay. I, I wasn't expecting you to be like, yeah, fuck them, they impose their figures cool. Like, I was just like, oh, shit, um, they, they tried, they just... <laughs> no, this it didn't impress it's me it's enough to be like, that needs to be in the show. Right. <laughs> This is really cool, and I mean, for eighty nine dollars, it's not like insane. But I'm, I think I'm only saying that because, again, Mondo one hundred and sixty. Yeah, so, it <laughs> definitely takes the is. takes the pill to swallow a lot easier when you've got something like, <laughs> like this <Poppy laughs> territory, though. So that's not like you know too crazy Mezco area, you know, in that in that rates. But these are cool. These are really cool. Yeah, what do you I, think? I, I agree. I. I I love me some comic book version of Iron Spider. Like it, yeah. it killed me inside when we got the Iron Spider in the movies, and they were like, "We he still needs to be red and blue because normal people who see the movies don't understand." And it's like, who gives a fuck? They're not gonna be like, "Why isn't he red and blue?" They're gonna be like, "That's fucking cool." Um, Let's so doing uh, the, all that CGI gold would have been too difficult, man. He had gold in his costume already. Yeah, but everything's gold. Like the arms, they wouldn't have been able to do that. Yes, the, the arms were already arms. gold. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it wasn't in the budget, okay? They couldn't yeah. do. No, I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> That's Jeez. fair. Arguing for arguing sake. Uh... <laughs> uh shit. Rounding out the news, though, um, the Toy World, which oh, we've already right. mentioned, this has spoiled an upcoming movie <laughs> once oh, again. Boy. And I'm going to give you another warning. If you don't want to be spoiled, this is for the Godzilla vs. Kong movie. So if you don't want to be spoiled, s click on the timestamp for Turtle Watch now because you've got three seconds and we're moving on. So three, two, one. Funko and Playmates both had images come out of the upcoming Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. Funko has a pop releasing in April, and Playmates has one of their terrible figures you can find at Walmart coming at some point. Uh, I believe that one was actually even listed on Walmart's website, so that was a double fuck up both on Playmates and on Walmart's end. Uh, this is exactly what we're talking about. They're trying to have like get that hype train by by having the figures out right after the movie hits because the movie's hitting at the end of the month. And now we all know not only 100% that Mechagodzilla was in it. Granted, based on the trailer, it was it was pretty obvious he was in it. But unless you were paying close attention, you could have missed it. But now we know what he looks like, and now it, it could either be a good thing or a bad thing. Because I'll tell you right now, the pop from Funko mm -hmm. looks really fucking cool. The more realistic <laughs> version from Playmates looks like dog shit, and I praying that that's not how it looks in the movie <laughs> he has arthritis and the, the claws are the little yeah. grabber things <laughs> for like you hope people will get so they can reach it he's like hold on let me pick up this car to throw at you <laughs> giant monkey <laughs> uh, no i'm sure it will look so much better like emotion and actually in the film i hope i i hope uh, yeah, I, it's a little bit of a bummer to see i mean for me i'm like okay cool you could have told me uh i was gonna try and make up another godzilla name but i went in a really bad place so anyways you could have mentioned any kind of godzilla that was gonna be in it i'm like oh cool i'll I'll check it out and see what's happening but yeah the uh that's that is a bummer i guess i kind of like 
don't want this to happen, but at the same time, I kind of do want to be able to buy something right after the movie. Because imagine if this wasn't leaked, mm -hmm. and then you're like, oh my god, I love the movie. And Funko was like, hey, we got a pop right here. You're like, ah, but I don't want to collect pops. But you're like, but yeah, I want this. So, I mean, know, you're not wrong. Now you gotta buy. <laughs> but see, here's what's gonna happen instead: is I'm gonna see the movie and be like, oh my god, it looks fucking incredible. And then uh, SH Monster Arts is gonna be like, here's our version. And I'm gonna be like, fuck me. And they're like, it's $150. And I'm like, triple fuck me. And <laughs> but it comes out and it comes out in a year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, you just get both. But no, this is that's kind of a cool little sneak peek, if you will. Mm -hmm. It's a bummer for like anything to be spoiled if you didn't want to be spoiled, but. At least you got to see this cool little, uh, the pop is cool. But yeah, yeah, the, the Playmates pop, figures, yeah. dog shit. I, I don't care who you are. That, that's <laughs> that's bad laugh. with a capital B. Um, but this the Playmate one is for kids, so most people will be getting this for like their child who really likes, you know, Godzilla. Uh, like our buddy Wes, his son loves Godzilla stuff. This will be something that his son. I'm just gonna say, with. I don't like kids, and I feel like they deserve better. <laughs> <laughs> They have imagination still. Bro. I have so imagination can... too. <laughs> How do you think I do all those fucking crazy fucking poses and bullshit for the end of the reviews? That's fucking it's... shit where I have source material. <laughs> I'm glad to see someone else hating on Playmates. <laughs> that was good. Oh, no. man. Yeah. I, I mean, Randy fucking did it first. Randy was like, oh, you know, those shouldn't even be toys. Like... <laughs> he was already butthurt that they were losing the license of the Godzilla, that he claimed yeah. no one else in America was going to have it uh, for a good toy brand. And so he's throwing uh, shade at weird. them, which then ended up being throwing shade at Super 7 because they got the license. <laughs> uh, but, oh, God. That's uh, awesome, though. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Fun I mean, I, I'm not so mad about the spoiler, per se, uh, mostly because I... I if they would have showed me a trailer of Becca Godzilla, I, my my floor would have been destroyed. Um, I would have need like yeah, they would have. I would have needed a new apartment. Like I would have been all, all four people underneath you. Yeah, they would have been water <laughs> damage everywhere. So, I I wouldn't have complained. But it's, the problem is, you know, my first representation of this character in this movie is a yeah. Playmates figure. That's a little bit of a damper because Playmates already isn't good at representation. But this just like even if it's like. 1% close to this, I'm going to be like, fuck, this is awful. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a joke here, but is the Mecha Godzilla made in America? <laughs> is that why he looks like he's Is that why he soldier? looks like a janky motherfucker compared to some space age dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. That's why he looks like a 74 Trans Am instead of a fucking <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> geriatric <laughs> robot. Oh man. Uh, that, First that's... Mirage and now this. I oh, got, man. It's, got it's been a, this, a rough a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have some good news. Coming. We do, uh, which which is going to take us out. We're done with the news, which means it's time for Turtle Watch 2021. <laughs> I just I love that you fake the the enthusiasm now because it just gives me great little bits for the teaser every week. Like last week we got the da 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 da. <laughs> and now I've just got you screaming like Goku for like five seconds. So I am hundred percent warrant, man. I, I'm I'm all for it. So <laughs> Get right into it. NECA gave us a slightly clearer view of the box art for the upcoming Walmart pinball TMNT box that's uh, supposed to be coming out with the animated Shredder figure, which now, with closer looks, looks like a variant that's going to be a metallic animated Shredder. But that's not even the important news. We are we finally got full solicitations of the NECA TMNT animated series disguise four pack in all of its glory. We've got that VHS box art, we got to see it fold down off the street, we've got all sorts of accessories, closer looks at the turtles, like oh man. Still no pre order well there's not really pre orders for these, but still no release date for these yet. And these are gonna be $125 when they come out. But boy, oh boy, if 
a Mega Godzilla trailer wasn't going to ruin my apartment floor. This did. <laughs> yes, man. Like, 100%. They, I, I get, okay, so Inside Baseball, you share the photo and the group. Mm-hmm. I'm like, holy shit, this is amazing. This is all I saw was the initial, just the front box. I had a lot of great surprises right now. Just to see <laughs> yeah, the figures in the box with the street, like that is, oh my god, it's so good. Like, I, I I'm, I'm speechless. Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm sure by the end of 2020 for 20, or 2021 Turtle Watch, we're gonna be like, fuck you, NECA. Why did you guys have it enough? <laughs> and then we're gonna be finally happy that we, you know, actually acquired our, our figures, but. These are just, just what else can they do to make these better? Like what? What? There's nothing. So just, I mean, I, I have I'm something mad. super nitpicky. If you really want something to make it better, sure. Let's. Hear I'm it. still upset about the pizza continuity. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's fair. But my point to this, in my defense, I don't know why I'm defending that. I have no stock in it. I'm actually the opposite of invested because I'm giving them my money. There's different sides isn't, of pizza in New York. That, isn't that invested? No, because I'm You're not giving them your money. You're investing I'm in that giving company. Them a, oh, no, I'm not investing because I get no return. I just get <laughs> turtle figures. <laughs> so when they make a lot more money, I mean, still I mean, you do get a return because these figures do go above retail. So if I you ever get to a point where like your wife kicks you out and you need a new ha- like a new place to live and you have to sell all your shit, you could at least afford. <laughs> Like nope, a down payment. My body is full of plasma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving up my turtles. No, but it, it, it just makes me so happy. Like, and I think that's what we are in this for. This is mm-hmm. why we have toys on our shelf. It's just you get to see something from like first glimpse to now seeing it in this form. So when you finally get it at home, and it's just it's I that's what I spent one hundred twenty five dollars for that happiness mm-hmm. that you get. Sure, I have a wife and a kid. And, <laughs> well, thank God she doesn't watch way. the show. <laughs> but I mean, there's there's just still a special a special spot. Sometimes you're you just get that warm fuzzy feeling from your your figures, and this is I just cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm not looking forward to the stress, the two three weeks or whatever it takes for this to finally get to my house, whenever it comes out. But um, I I have no complaint. I mean, I I get to restart my my weird, inappropriate relationship with a Target employee (laughs) to to have him looking. If he's looking for a side piece, (laughs) I'm pretty far away, but we can we can Snapchat. (laughs) 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 I mean, whatever I got to do, man, whatever I got to do, we got to make sure we get these. But I won't let this take the entire like show stop. But. I do like the metallic variant of the Shredder. I do too. I, I'm excited for for a completely different reason. So I've recently been working on my Mezco style Shredder. And oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I was going to paint the NECA movie turtles uh, Shredder like guards for like the hand and like forearms and legs. But if I can get metallic versions of the cartoon one, which I think look better, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll get them just to do that and, and put those on them instead. Yeah, that sounds cool. That would be a good way to build another <laughs> figure of yours. For me, in my head canon, what I was thinking is you got this metallic version of the Toon Turtle, or not Turtle, but Toon Shredder, right? Mm-hmm. Or animated Shredder, I guess we should say at this point. One of my favorites from the Playmates line was the like crazy, like the wacky tunes where they had like the metallic spray over top of the figures. Mm-hmm. Could we get some turtles? That would be cool. I would like a variant. I know I already have enough of like the same turtles, of course, but that would be cool to get like a, a metallic variant. Of I, I would variant. assume it's got to come at some point, right? Yeah. You can't just come out with a shredder as metallic and not have the turtles. Like know? they'll just do four more of these boxes and, and milk you for another, like probably 40 bucks each. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> there's there's another, again. there's another clip for the trailer. <laughs> Isn't that how it was for me to focus? You can, you can milk, milk anything, right? It was meet the parents, but yeah, he's like, you can milk anything oh, with nipples. Oh, meet the parents, it was the first of, yeah, anything with nipples. So. Can, can you milk me, Greg? I have nipples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you? There we go. Uh, we devolved, devolved into I, But before we move on to weekly purchases, I do want to 
um, touched with something. I, I, I gl- did glazed over this because I got so excited for the Disguise 4 pack. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, there have been mass restocks in both Walmarts and Targets. I'm sad about the Walmarts because none of my Walmarts carry NECA. But apparently people were finding just shelves full of the Turtle 2 packs oh, yeah. and the Shadow Shredder. And then at Target, I did witness this in, for, like in person. My Target had probably at least six of each of the Splinter, or not Splinter, but Extra The Vernon and Rat King, the Triceraton 2 pack, the Roadkill Rodney and Triceraton 2 pack, and uh, the Grax, or the Grander and Trax. I don't know the rock. I can't, rock. I can't remember the other one's name. Um, <laughs> the, the rock dudes who work for yeah. for uh, Krang. But all of all four of those, my target had at least six or more of each. Um, and I've seen a lot of pictures of other people's targets doing the same. And I actually went down to Phoenix um, for just to go like see some of the comic like shops and stuff down there. Because we don't really have a lot of options up here to get some collectibles. Mm-hmm. And I saw other targets with those same restocks. So... They are all out producing these. I hope that either A, my Walmart accidentally gets these in, or I can find someone to find them for me because I still need those two packs because I, I still want to have one set of the, the turtles in trench coats and one set with my fancy wraps. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I can look, keep an eye out, but I've been to my Walmart. I got a little cool nifty t- tip from Nate saying, hey – Shadow Shredder's at Walmart. I show up 45 minutes later, he gone. So I don't know, maybe not all the Walmart. I, I will uh, say that before people started up. reporting those like giant shelf displays mm-hmm. was when you yeah, got that was, tip. So like yeah. it probably like there's probably a better chance maybe now that like hundreds and, of people yeah, on they Twitter didn't have, they didn't even have shelf tack or anything for it. So yeah. I'm thinking it was probably Maybe a shipment showed up early. They put mm. three of them out, and then they were gone or whatnot. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I'll keep checking. Yeah, let me know if you find those. But we yeah. are going to wrap up Turtle Watch 2020, which only means that it's time for weekly purchases. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jamar's yeah. favorite part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I know uh, you same choice I give you every week. You want to go first or second? I'll go first. I'll show right. you what I have, and then you can show me yours. Oh, I like I like this arrangement. I didn't even have to like get you some turtles from Target to get that premium Snapchat. Um, so I'll, I'll start with the one the the things that were kind of unexpected. So I think I may have mentioned this to you before we were recording, but I said I got something that I said I wouldn't do, but I did anyways, and part of it was because of the hype. So like I mentioned earlier. You got the, you, you know, you got Snyder Cut coming out. I want the figures right away. You got um, Godzilla versus King Kong coming out. I want the figures right away. I understand spoilers, yada, yada, yada. So I watched a movie over the weekend that I was like, all right, we'll see what happens. And I watched Ray and the Last Dragon. And I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely loved that movie. So as soon as it hit the credits, the first thing I did was like, where can I get some shelf representation? And I had to go low. I had to go low, but I actually have my Sasu of, did I say that right? Sasu? Yeah, Sasu. Um, it's a Funko Pop. It is. It's. I said I wasn't going to do these, but I have probably about 10 Funko Pops of just random things that I really like. So I did do that. And of course, I had to get Rhea herself. Now, the sad thing is I go back to Funko after saying oh, I'm going to buy him, and the one that I order shows up with the detachable sword, which is interesting because that's not what happens. It doesn't detach. It's actually broken, so I'm going to have to order another one, but for now, I'm going to keep this one on my shelf or something. I might super glue it on there, and I don't know, but I love it. If you haven't seen the movie, please watch the movie. It's absolutely amazing. Um, Aquafina, if you never heard of her, she kills this role in this movie, so I enjoyed that. So I had to get the shelf representation for that. That's cool. And then something that I thought I was going to have to complain about on the show for a very long time. And oh, it wow. Makes me sad because I don't have anything to complain about right now. From Holy Big Bad shit. Toys or because my Ellie has shown up and oh my 
fucking god, I love this thing. Uh, I, I I think my camera light won't pull this up here, but she has her little gun, little pistol. Look at that. That is so fucking amazing. Um, the pack comes with like her sword. She has a different swappable face. She has the one where she's throwing like a brick. It's so cool. Again, I don't have to go into this if you've seen other episodes. I think it, I talked about this in the um, the figures for the year. Yeah, the top ten and what that game like means to me and just how much it connects with me and have this makes me so happy. The only thing I can complain about is now I need Abby. Get me Abby and I will be in heaven. But I'm also confused. I don't know where to put this. I don't know if I'm going to put this on my shelf with like my PlayStation stuff or do I put this on the shelf with like my random stuff and next to my uh, easy, uh, my uh, Midoriya. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, I don't know what you're saying, so I can't help you this time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm really happy. And every time, and now that I have this one, I'm like, God, it, she died. Um, I just have to keep getting more. I just have to keep getting more, but I just can't. See, I, now I want you to get the Kratos one so you can have her beating him with a brick. Okay, so not going to lie. I've been looking up on <laughs> eBay because on Amazon, it, it popped up a few times for like 40 bucks. So I'm going to keep an eye out. If I can get it for that amount, I'm going to 100% just purchase Kratos because you can't, you know, not have Kratos. So. Yeah. I, yeah, I was really surprised. Had no clue. I just got an email and it was Big Bad Toy Store. And they said, hey, we're going to take $80 out of your account. And I was like, what? <laughs> then I saw it before. I was like, okay, all right, we're cool. <laughs> so I'm happy. I can't complain at all over this week outside of yeah. me going back into a Funko and they give me a piece of shit figure. So that's, I'm going to blame Best Buy on that one. Not I mean, I, I'm generally shocked that the fact that like your, your entire shtick for 2021 is gone and we're only I know, three months I'm in. Gonna find, I'm going to have to find something else. Where's my loot crate? <laughs> <laughs> we're not even out of the pre-orders yet. <laughs> Where are they at? Come on, Randy. Don't play with me, man. <laughs> no. So what did you, yes, you get, man? If you're wondering, make sure to tweet at NECA about all of the loot crate stuff that they have no control over. It. <laughs> yes. Where are they at? <laughs> uh, so I had a I had a pretty interesting week. So I mentioned I went down to Phoenix, oh. um, down to, to Satan's asshole, as I call it, because it's a miserable hellhole. Um, because we really only have one comic book shop up here, and they don't really do collectibles. Like you can get Funko Pops and the occasional statue, but that's about it. Uh, so I went down there and I went to a different, couple different shops and at the shops, the only thing I really found was I got the classic Mesco Harley Quinn. Ooh. So I got her, so I'm going to pose her with that Joker I got in the trade a couple weeks ago until I get the, oh. uh, exclusive Joker that looks more closer to the comics. Um, but whoop, oh, she's dead. Uh, that's that's our new shtick here on, on Modern Toy Fair. We just kill all the women figures. Um, what? No, it's just any figure that falls. Right? Um, anyway, so then I, I, we hit up a few retail shops uh, with like Targets and Walmarts just because like, Target up here is pretty good, but my Walmarts are pretty mediocre. So first I went to Target, and I wasn't really looking for anything in particular, but uh, as everyone knows, I like toys for my toys, and I found the last one I needed, which was the the little micro-action figure Skeletor. Oh. And he's itty-bitty. Cool. See if you can see him a little better now. Probably so not. So that's the world's smallest toy. That's not like the random No, box. yeah, this is the, the world's smallest okay. micro-action okay. figures. Yeah. Um, yeah, so cool. I got him finally. I, I literally have been trying to find him for upwards of a year since i started collecting this line and uh-huh. my target slowly like every three to five months will get one new character like uh-huh. back in november december they finally got tila and uh-huh. then just now they got battle cat i'm like why well, i traded someone for battle cat fuck you i want skeletor <laughs> so luckily i was down in phoenix and, and the target down there had it but then i went to walmart and i found something significantly more exciting and this is something I didn't think I was going to find in person. I figured either I'd have to wait for it to hit Target or Big Bad Toy Store or even wait for you or Nate to potentially find me one. And that is the poster version of the NECA King Kong. And okay. my God, this is so much cooler in person, which is saying something because <laughs> it was already pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I, I'm currently going to be reviewing it. I, I will say I, my only real complaint is like the posterized Godzilla the box art is the poster, but with the figure, I feel like it was a missed mm-hmm. opportunity. Like, I don't know if they couldn't get the rights or they 
were too lazy, but they didn't do that with this one. So uh, a little, little sad about that, but the figure makes up for it. Like I, I honestly think that that and the posterized Godzilla are going to take front like seat of my display over the regular versions. Um, cool. But my, my weekly purchases don't end there. So this is, we're going to get into story time since earlier I talked about having a little bit of a scare. Um, so I, I order a lot of my figures through a, ironically, a local comic book shop that is in another state. Uh, he is in one of the Mezco groups I'm in, and he basically is like a e-retailer. Like he, you know, orders all the things wholesale through like diamonds and all that, um, with the distribution and then just charges retail with free shipping which I'm like, okay, can't beat that because no one does that. Like I used to like continue to pay for my stuff from the guy when I moved across the country. Um, and I was still loyal to my like old comic book shop that I went to, but like even him, like there was no discount. It was that plus an insane amount of shipping. And then big bad toy store. Like you either pay good shipping or you pay for the shitty $4 shipping. So he, he, you know, puts out the notice that, Hey, everybody who ordered this, it's time to pay up. It's in. So I sent him my PayPal stuff and, and then he shipped it and cut. And then two days later, I get the notification that's delivered. So I go out to my mailbox. I live in apartments and we got the little lock boxes and they put the key in for you to get to the parcel locker. Well, I get the key and I go to the parcel locker. Well, the parcel locker is already unlocked, which you shouldn't be able to do because without the key in it, it's not supposed to turn. And then I like managed to like take the key and wedge it in there and pry it open and it's empty. <laughs> so I'm instantly in panic mode and I'm just like losing my shit. Cause I'm like, I don't know if he insures these. I don't know if this was stolen. I don't know if it's just, you know, the incompetency of one of the postal people or laziness or something, or if it was just something where like they put the key in my box and then realized that one's broken and forgot to take the key back and just didn't deliver it. So I'm in full panic mode. I, I file a thing online. Don't hear back from that from them for two days. Finally, I'm out. I, like I go out to check the mail, and the mailman's there. So I straight up ask him, like, "Hey, you, you guys put this key in for this box on this day. I'm just trying to figure out if it was stolen or if it's they put it in the wrong box and gave me the wrong key." So he goes and checks them all. So they put mine in 14, or the box or the key for 14 in my box. He was in box eight, so it wasn't even like in the same zip code oh, of numbers at that point. <laughs> but then he also was like, this makes no sense. So this one's unlocked without the key in it. They some they managed to lock the key for box eight in the parcel locker oh. with the figure. <laughs> so there was no way to get it, even if it would have without him being there. So it would have sat there for weeks yeah. if I waited for them to respond to my like claim online. <laughs> but finally I got it, and that is my Moffex Battle Damaged oh, Dark Knight Returns. And my god, I I was already just baffled at how incredible the first version is, and this one dwarfs that one. So this one is another figure I'm going to be reviewing soon, so make sure to check into that, because it's just going to be gushing for 15 minutes about how incredibly sexy this action figure is. Um, so I saw... A, a post of someone who had that and they did a little bit of a mod the modification to it and added some like red in the cuts mm -hmm. to give it that bleeding effect and they kind of like dusted up his cape a little bit and i looked at him like god this thing is awesome yeah that's a, that's a dope figure well yeah. the wild thing is that's like a... the suit itself like i figured it would just be the same like color as the other one as far as like, the gray it would just be like a flat gray with the tears they actually like painted in dirt and stuff in the gray parts of the suit to make That's it look cool. dirty. So I was just like, yeah. I, I opened this thing and I was already like elevated at the fact that it wasn't stolen, but then to right. see the level of detail. <laughs> and I was just like, Oh my, like I, I had to like sit down because I was afraid I was going to, you know, have a heart attack or something <laughs> like get my heart give out from just overstimulation. So right. That's all I got. Uh, a very dramatic and long <laughs> weekly <Yeah>. purchases. That's <laughs> fun. Um, Hold up, future me. Before we go, I want to let everyone know about the giveaway. Once we hit 350 subscribers on YouTube, we will give away a first place prize of the NECA Ultimate Metalhead and a second place prize of the Extra Large NECA Musical Muge and Tour Merch Box Bundle, which includes Extra Large T-Shirt, Tote Bag, Souvenir Ticket, Backstage Pass, and four guitar picks. 
All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and make sure to share our giveaway post on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag moderntoy 100 You cannot share this to your fleet, cannot share it to your story. Otherwise, it will not be entered because it only lasts 24 hours. So make sure to go do that. Easiest way, go to Twitter, hit retweet, type the hashtag, you're done. It's our pinned tweet, real simple. So make sure to do that. Make sure to subscribe and don't miss out because we're inching closer and closer every day. One thing before we go, though, I do want to add, I have a big ask for the people who watch this show. So for whatever reason, over the course of the last week and a half, YouTube has decided to stop pushing our videos. So we went from getting a couple hundred views per video to less than 50 per video. Don't know what we did to piss off the YouTube overlords. Don't know if it's because we finally like are you know inching towards getting monetized and they're like, oh no, 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 we don't want to give you money yet. Or if it was just, you know, the internet being the internet and the algorithm deciding that uh, it wanted to piss on us for no reason. So I have a huge ask, and I know we already ask a lot with the giveaway we do, um, but if if you enjoy this show and you want us to continue doing it, and you don't want it to get something to a point where it's not worth us continuing, I'm going to ask that you share this episode on your social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Get more eyes on it to help us get more views, get us back in the good graces of the algorithm, get us back on track, because we were we were moving with some pretty good steam there for the past four or five months, where we had managed to go from nowhere near being able to be monetized to being past the quarter mark of being monetized. So... We, we were on track that we probably could hit the goal within the first year of the show being up. Uh, so if you could please share this episode. It's, it's, I realize it's a lot of work. You know, you have to click the share button and then choose where you want to share it. But I, I, I'm i begging you. I know we ask a lot with the giveaway and we beat you over the head with the please like and subscribe. You know, normal YouTube bullshit. But it's, for whatever reason, the algorithm has decided it doesn't like us and we... We need to kind of try to correct course any way we can. So if you could do that, we greatly appreciate you. If we can do that, I will find some way to repay you guys and maybe do a giveaway for just the people who shared that episode. Um, so if like you send us a screenshot or something on Twitter, um, anything, or tag us in the post even, so I can keep track of it. So if I can figure out what to do, if we get back on course, I'll, I'll make sure to, to kind of repay the love. But... Beyond that, that is it for this week's Modern Toy Fair news. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Modern Toy Fair. Jamar, tell everybody about why are you a gamer? Well, I mean, shit, now I feel like you. I should use this moment to just say, hey, just share, you know, this episode. <laughs> but while you're on YouTube, you can go to um, this weird link underneath because I don't have 100 <laughs> subscribers, but it's come in there. Um, but why are you gamers? Just a podcast. You can, of course, if you don't even want to get on YouTube, just hit up any podcast platform of your choice and search. Why are you a gamer? It's an awesome show. We talk to a bunch of amazing gamers and amazing people, except for Mike. For some reason he was on the show. Now just he's, he's really good. Uh, if you enjoyed him on here, be surprised on some of his gaming tastes. So definitely <laughs> check out that episode as well. Um, I have a really good friend of mine making, and another amazing intro for um why are you a gamer season two so it's coming it's just you know i guess i have no excuse to compare it to ellie for anymore because it's here yeah. and i can't compare it to uh, my miles morales but it's definitely coming so check out the youtube channel to stay followed for that and of course just follow me at jamar underscore games because that's where you'll get all my hot takes like target being body shaming people Oh, okay then. <laughs> Go to my Twitter, find out. <laughs> I, I I will say for anyone who's interested, comment below, uh, and we're gonna start up a poll to see who we think is gonna start their podcast back up first. Nate with figuratively speaking, or Jamar with why you're a gamer. Both of I will say, Jamar has a little bit of a heads up, a little less of a head start because Nate's been on hiatus for about a year now. Where Jamar's only been on hiatus for about six months. So let's see who who, who gets their shit back straight first. <laughs> I have people scheduled, so it better come back. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if you, for some reason, enjoy my voice, check me out on the Gimmick Minute Wrestling Podcast where me, Nate, and Kevin basically shoot the shit on what we think about the state of the wrestling universe. <laughs> 
It's not Nate. You, oh, it's not Nate. Nate. No, God, no. It's Jason, <laughs> Kevin, and me uh, shooting the shit on the Wrestling Universe. Wow. Oof, it's been a, a long episode. So check that out. If you'd like to support this channel, please click the link below for tpublic.com, where we sell shirts with our logos on them for both Modern Toy Fair, Gimmick Minute, and even Why Are You a Gamer? And I have some designs left that are random things that I've made in Photoshop, so go check those out. I'd greatly appreciate it. As always, please make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what announcements you're excited for. And let's start a conversation. Let's chat about it. Maybe there's something we didn't like that you think we're stupid for like or not liking. Or maybe there's something that we liked and you don't really know how you feel about it. Let's let's chat and figure it out and maybe we can change some minds. Uh, but... I lost my place in the show sheet, so we're just going to move on. If you enjoy our faces, hit the little bell. <laughs> when our videos go up, Modern Toy Fair news will go up on Fridays and Modern Toy Fair reviews on Mondays and Wednesdays. If you don't enjoy staring at our beautiful faces, we do have an audio-only version of Modern Toy Fair news available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Casts, Spotify, and other podcast apps you know and love. So check that out, and we will see you next week. Same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thank you for watching. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs>